Jalen Hurts, in 2020, his completion percentage was 52%. In 2021, 61%. That's a 9% increase. So far in 2022, 67% completion percentage. The jump is scary. And the man is so young and only getting better, you guys. What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another good edition of Simone with the Spizz. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help feel this channel. The second one is to shop the official Simone with the Spizz, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the fly dye crew neck. And lastly, guys, if you do not do anything else, Turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. Y'all, it is a victory Friday, baby. Let's go. So we got a lot to get into today. Victory Friday. Um, struggle bus last night, you know, but the bus still stopped in victory town. And we are here today. We got a lot to get into. Um, couple things, couple things, couple things, couple things. First of all. Meek Mill, y'all, I was, you know, the the Phillies game came on before the Eagles game. And, you know, Meek Mill stayed booked. But let me know, y'all, since Philly on top right now, what is your favorite Meek Mill song? Y'all, I love Meek Mill Dow. He is one of my favorite rappers. Top seven. He's one of my favorite rappers. I've always loved Meek Mill. My favorite song by Meek Mill is 1942 Flows. 1942 flows y'all that song oh it just gets you it's just so motivational so inspiring it gets you really pumped up and ready to go 1942 flows if you not have if you haven't heard or listened to that song listen to it and it really like the chorus really embodies you know that underdog like you know how dreams are nightmares people love dreams and nightmares because it's like that that underdog song like 1942 1942 flows is the same way it's kind of like that underdog you know you hating on me but it ain't working you know what i'm saying <sighs> i love that song i love that song and especially when i'm on tiktok fighting all the fighting all the haters on tiktok because y'all everybody hating on us right now like 1942 flows really just get me centered with the haters like you know they just want to see me fall but they will never sell my soul i'm on some heat that they ain't seen before dream chasers catching all my goals they want to see me fall but they will never take my soul i'm on some heat that they ain't seen before this some she they ain't seen before, y'all. That's why they scared of the birds. But let me know your favorite Meek Mill song. Drop it in the comments. We got a lot to talk about. First, let's start with Devontae Smith. Y'all saw my community post. Y'all need to stop. Whoever these people are all on Twitter claiming to be Eagles fans, complaining about Devontae Smith's targets, Devontae Smith's yards, these can't be real Eagles fans. These got to be people that just got Devontae Smith on their fantasy team. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because if you're a real Eagles fan, you're not looking at targets. You're not looking at yards. You're looking at wins. You're looking at the way this offense is getting down the field. You're looking at how comfortable Jalen Hurts is. Why would you even be looking, oh, Devontae Smith only got these many targets and Dallas Goddard got this many? We got hella weapons. Hella weapons. Hella weapons. You already know what time it is. Nobody is conspires, conspiring against Devontae Smith, and that's what people on Twitter are saying. Oh, the Eagles are trying to sabotage Devontae Smith. No, we just got a real big body wide out in A.J. Brown. We've got a veteran in A.J. Brown. We got 1K always open. We got two top receivers now. And maybe Jalen Hurst just feels more comfortable throwing to A.J. Brown because A.J. Brown has a big catch radius. He's a big target. He can boom, boom, bully defenders. He's more physical. That's why people love, that's why quarterbacks love their big targets. Before the season started last season, before we got Devontae Smith, I said a thousand times, we need a big body X receiver in here. That's what we didn't have last season. 
We had that the last time with Alshon Jeffrey, but he wasn't able to stay healthy. That's the difference that you get when you have a big body, true wide out, true X receiver in AJ Brown. Real mismatches. You don't get that with your smaller guys like Devontae Smith. Now, do I, and like I said, I'm not complaining at all about this offense. We're scoring. Why y'all even care who's scoring? Just know that somebody in green and white scored. Why are y'all concerned about who scored, who got the ball, who got touches? Just look at how many points we put up and that we won. That's it. That's all that matters to me. I don't care if freaking Nick Sirianni suits up and drops 10, gets 10 touchdowns. I don't care if Swoop scoring touchdowns. As long as somebody's scoring touchdowns, I do not care. So cut the crap and stop talking all that she on Twitter. And somebody on Twitter was saying, Devontae Smith, after the game, he tweeted, I don't care about y'all's fantasy teams because people keep complaining about him. Drop him and A.J. Brown and Dallas Goddard from your fantasy team right now because we have so many guys, you don't know who's going to go off each night. I would never put money, I did in the past, and I was wrong to put money on A.J. Brown. Don't put money on A.J. Brown. Don't put money on Devontae Smith or Dallas Goddard because you don't know which night who, which one of them is going to eat. The only person you can bet money on is Miles Sanders to get touches and Jalen Hurts to throw. But when you got multiple weapons, why would you be betting on one of the three anyway? Any one of those can go off any given night. So that's on y'all for being bad pickers and being bad betters, okay? Period. I had to get that out, that out the way because I'm tired of people. Last night, Devontae Smith was trending on Twitter and people was talking about we're trying to sabotage him. Y'all don't know nothing about football. And do y'all realize that Devontae Smith is the reason why A.J. Brown is eating, the reason why Dallas Goddard is eating? Because you got to respect him on the offense too, which, which opens things up for A.J. Brown, which opens things up for Dallas Goddard. Stop complaining about the offense. Now, you can complain about that pass protection last night because that pass protection was piss poor last night. Jordan Mulata, I don't know what was going on last night. And Jordan Malata is a very consistent guy. This offensive line is very consistent. So one bad night, I'm not going to be mad. Um, one bad night, I'm not going to be mad. But yeah, the, 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 that pass rush was, was ferocious last night. But y'all, moving on to the next topic. That's Devontae Smith. Let y'all know how I feel. I saw this awesome stat, and I'm sure you guys saw this stat last night too on the broadcast. Jalen Hurts, in 2020, his completion percentage was 52%. In 2021, 61%. That's a 9% increase. So far in 2022, 67% completion percentage. The jump is scary. And the man is so young and only getting better, you guys. And they literally said, the only other quarterback, the second active quarterback, Jalen Hurst is the second active quarterback to improve his completion rate by five or more percent each season. Josh Allen's the other one. Josh Allen, who is just a freaking crazy, incredible quarterback. Jalen Hurts is, is showing that same improvement that Josh Allen showed. Because Josh Allen ain't coming to the league like the Josh Allen y'all seen now. And Jalen Hurts is only getting better and better. I just love the improvement. Like I said last night in my video, the confidence that I have when, when Jalen is under center is amazing. We didn't have that confidence in 2020. We didn't have that confidence in him in 20. Well, we knew he was going to get better. But, you know, when the offense was, would come out, we'd be like, eh. Now when the offense comes out, I'm like, woo, let's go. You know what I'm saying? It's that confidence, that difference. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the offensive line was a little busted last night, but I will not come on this internet and talk bad about this offensive line because they had one questionable night. The offensive line has been our bread and butter and been consistent for the longest. Now, defense, what the heck? First of all, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, can we give it up for him? Yes! C.J. Gardner-Johnson leading the league in interceptions. Got the big and, bruh, Dallas game. C.J. Garner-Johnson came back in the game, got a huge interception for us. Last night, C.J. Garner-Johnson gets the first interception of the game. Another pivotal one. The game was tied 14-14. Pivotal interception. The dude, pivotal. C.J. Garner-Johnson, the best fifth-round pick ever spent. And it's crazy the Saints only got a fifth-round pick from us for the guy who is now leading the league in interceptions. I mean, incredible. Javon Hargrave, incredible. Three sacks last night. Javon Hargrave applying that pressure. Period. Last game, Javon Hargrave had two sacks. This time, 
Javon three sacks. Now, shout out CJ, shout out Javon. I think Fletcher Cox had a good night last night, in my opinion. Darius Slade, James Bradbury, very good night. Did not see any balls going their way. You know, it was one play. I think Bradbury got a block in the uh, it, no it was Bradbury has some penalty I can't remember but whatever again them guys been consistent got nothing to say y'all what was up with your boys though Avante got me mad X what the heck what was that tackling all what 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 was that all the missed tackles what was going on Kavon 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 Wallace, why was he even in the game? Y'all, I'm not even trying to be funny, y'all. Why was Kavon in the game so much? Like, the only thing that would make sense in my mind, why Kavon was in the game, like, were we trying to give him more reps in a game that we saw was easier? Like, were we putting Kavon in the game, you know, so he could build up reps? If that's the case, then, okay, of course. Guys aren't going to get better unless they get play time, you know what I mean? Um, And I'm fine with that. But it's... Is there any other reason why Kavon was in the game so much? Because Kavon, oh baby, he stuck that shit up. <laughs> like, what? Between Avante and Kavon last night, y'all, I almost had, like, well, I did, I survived, like, 10 heart attacks. I survived. I'm a survivor. Because y'all was going through it last night. I was going through it. Like, that was unhealthy. It was very much unhealthy the 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 the, 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 the different waves of emotions I had last night. <sighs> Lastly, run defense was trash. Goodness, like we know Jordan Davis is that dude, but I thought we had depth, baby. What happened? Um, and that has me yes scared. I'm gonna say this word. I said it several times, y'all. We've got. All in the time where Jordan Davis is supposed to be gone, we've got Derrick Henry. Now, I know Pierce, and I'm not being shady, forgot his first name, David. I want to say it's David. Pierce, he fire. We know that. He been doing good all season. He did amazing last night. But, y'all, we got Derrick Henry <laughs> still on the schedule. So, if we couldn't stop Pierce, what the heck we going to do with Derrick Henry? Um, Jonathan Taylor, he's been inactive, active, inactive, active, boom, 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 boom. But, of course, with our luck, he's going to be active when we play uh, the Colts. We got Jonathan Taylor. We got Saquon on a mission, Barkley. Like, we got some dudes at running back that we still got to play without Jordan Davis. So, yeah, I'm a little shook. I'm a lot of shook. I'm shaking up. So that's something to think about, y'all. Tighten that up. And it was a very short week. It was. We played Sunday, and then we turned around and played Thursday. Had to travel. That's a lot. And we lost our dude. We lost Jordan Davis in the midst of that. So dudes had to get pulled up from the bottom of the rasta. You know what I'm saying? That's tough, especially on a short week. And these dudes are old. Fletch ain't no spring chicken, and neither is Javon. So... Hopefully with this big chunk of rest, we don't play again until the 14th. It's a lot of rest. I see our run defense tightening up. They got more time to rest. Um, but we'll see against Antonio Gibson in Washington. Um, yeah. Friday, feeling good. If you're on TikTok, get follow me on TikTok, y'all. I need to build an army of Eagles fans on there, y'all. Because the haters, they be swarming. So, yeah. Um, and y'all know I don't even be talking she. What What do I, who do I be talking to? Other fan bases. Have you ever tra- heard me talk about the Chargers? Have you ever heard me talk bad about the Chiefs? Have y'all ever heard me talk bad about any other fan base? So why are all these random, random fan bases? Why is the Saints fan talking she? First of all, we beat y'all when we was trash. Why is a random Chargers fan, what was the, why is a Chargers fan talking why are these random fans, teams that, miscellaneous little teams, can't even think of them? Why are they talking trash? What we got to do with y'all? Can we enjoy our little 8-0? and Goodness, gosh, gracious. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, baby. But like I said, if y'all are on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. We got to build an army, y'all, because they are coming on TikTok. 
But y'all, I'm a got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in my bank account. Mm, 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 mm. You already know. But lastly, y'all, um, eight shots. I said it. I said Eagles go eight and zero oh, Monday Night Football. Eight shots, baby. Let me know who who with me and who ain't with me. But the next time the Eagles play, y'all be in the building for the first time. Yes. But y'all, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Stop talking all that she about Devontae Smith on Twitter. Leave a comment. Turn your notification bells on. And until I talk to you guys next time. Bye.